Cole is a type A clean freak. You're his pregnant one night stand. Now you're living together. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, today we are back with the next part of Ice Ice Baby on the Chapters app. If you have not seen the other ones, you can catch up on the playlist right here. I had to know what happens next because our girl finally moved in to her famous hockey player baby daddy's house after her apartment flooded. It was not cute. So we have moved in with him, but our little kitten has been, you know, he's been exploring. He's been living his best life, exploring his new environment. He got out of the room, the paw prints are everywhere, and Cole woke up with him nestled in his hair. <laughs> so we're about to see the reaction. I love that you guys have been loving it, at least some of you, because I've been loving the story and I'm going to read another part because I need to see what happens with this little move-in session. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like because it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Thanks to your can shenanigans, you find yourself completely on Cole's lap in his bedroom. Okay, I forgot about this. She fell on his lap. Fell. Okay, Cole's icily drag up from your cloud body, his eyebrow arches. Uh, Tess, what are you doing in my lap? Um, I was trying to get caught and I didn't want to wake you up. Uh, I don't think your plan was successful, no, but I think we woke somebody else up. Someone down below. Your lungs stop working as he watches his fingers massage his muscular chest. His head cocks as he considers something. Mm -hmm. Is that what the buzzing in my ear was this morning? Um, yeah, he was purring. Yeah, right by your head. Ah. He takes your hips in his hands and in one fluid, strong move lifts you right off him. He tosses the sheet off, revealing that he only sleeps in a pair of navy boxer briefs. Deep breath, Tess. You will not look below the waistband, girl. You're literally pregnant from him. We've seen it all. We've touched it all. We've had it all. It's fine. It doesn't matter if you've seen it before. <sighs> anyway, Cole, um, sorry to wake you up. Pretty sure your cat did that. Is that okay? Yeah, um, no, I meant your little cat. Mm-hmm, get your mind to the gutter, Gardner. Oh my gosh, of course, I'm sorry, you're, you're teasing me, aren't you? I never tease a woman in my bedroom like that. His eyes give you a slow up and down, especially not when she was wearing a nightgown or nothing else. Okay, he's definitely flirting. You know what? You're gonna flirt back. You are gonna flirt back, says the man wearing tiny boxers. This is what I sleep in. He smiles slowly in a way that makes you realize there's something mischievous in the surly exterior. Cole smirk flatlines when he looks down at his sheets, his carpet. Why are there purple paw prints everywhere? We don't need to talk about that. That's not important right now. Don't look at the purple paw prints. Just, just ignore them. You wince trying to ignore the way his body has gone rigid, his jaw tense. Khan must have gotten into the jam last night. I'm really not sure how I didn't even need to let him out of my room. I need to clean this. Clearly his scary mommy level clean house isn't just because he doesn't live in it. He likes things a certain way and it only took me and Colin one night to mess that up. I should help him clean it up. I kind of feel bad. I'll help you clean it up. No, it's fine. I like things in a certain way. It's just I'm not used to having someone here to help me. Don't be silly. I know all the tricks to getting out pet stains. And two pairs of hands will get it done in half the time. Okay, I like that. <laughs> you know, I can't even be mad that he's a clean freak because I, I'm not like, I wouldn't seem a clean freak to this level, but I like my things in the proper place. I like my things clean. I like my floors clean, my carpet's clean, my room clean. So honestly, I'm living for Cole right now. Like, yes, Cole, call me. Okay, both of the hallway, he brings his supplies and teach him your fail-safe remedy for scenes like this. Trust me, all you need to do is... <laughs> Honestly, I want to pick this one. Pray to Mr. Clean. The guy on the... <laughs> the guy on the magic erasers. Yes, we need his goodwill to get the stain out. Whatever you say. You kneel and work on a scene. A few minutes later, it's vanished. Wow, you weren't kidding. 
The two of you work side by side and tackle all the paw prints. With each trace of jam removed, you notice Cole relax more and more. It's fine. We cleaned it up. Thanks. It was kind of you to offer to help. Well, it was my mess to clean. Yeah, we did this. It was my can that got in the jam that you got out for me to eat. It was an accident. No one's fault. I would have felt too guilty letting you clean up alone. Cole works back on his heels, blowing out a rough breath. I'm sorry if it was a little <sighs> intense back there. My family was around a lot when I was a kid, and the only thing I could control was the space around me. He rubs the back of his neck. In a lot of ways, I like that I know what I want and what works for me. Exactly, but I also know sometimes I'm kind of a dick about it, and I wish I wasn't. Cole, liking things to be clean doesn't make you a dick. Neither does standing up for your own needs. Does someone make you feel that way? I don't know. Everyone? He looks surprised as if no one has ever bothered to take the time to get to know him. Maybe no one's taken the time to see the real you. You don't have to do that, Tess. Or do what? Pretend like I'm not one. I know exactly how I come across the people. You're fine. Cole, you're fine. Stop. You're fine. We promise. There's a reason I've been single for so long. I am not easy to be around. This is really how he thinks of himself. He's rough around the edges, but he's a really good person. He smiles and he pretends not to see the touch of sadness there. Do you have to practice today? Yeah, I need to leave in a few hours. Okay, let me make you a breakfast as a further apology for Kron's mess. Make enough for two and you've got a deal. Okay, let's go make breakfast. Feeling which ladder you skip to the room to change for the day. Okay, I'll go with something. Okay, cute and casual. Flirty but professional. Pretty and sweet. I kind of like the cute and casual. Honestly, the cute and casual is like, I'm feeling this one. We're going with this one. Okay, let's go make breakfast. After you change you downstairs and rummage through Cole's kitchen to find the ingredients. I can make up a hectic morning by sending him a practice on a good breakfast. In the back of the spice cabinet, you find some cinnamon sticks and it sparks an idea. Ooh, I could make cinnamon French toast. I, I was ready for that one, y'all. I, I was ready. I know he's got some homemade bread, so this will be perfect. When you hunt around until you find ingredients for French toast and get started, Cole comes into the kitchen just as you finish up, his eyebrows raised. What's this? It's... A thank you. For what? For letting me stay here. Come on, I have some. It's yummy, I promise. Okay, I'll try it. You beam in hand cola plated French toast covered in syrup. Oh girl, I'm gonna need that syrup on the side though. <laughs> I'm gonna need that on the side. He forks off a large bite and chews slowly. Wow, that's good. Without warning, Cole freezes, releasing a raspy cough into his fist. Did we screw up again? Is there cinnamon in there? His voice sounds pinched as if he can't get enough air in. Are you allergic? You guessed it. Sometimes I put an almond flavoring, but it seemed like a cinnamon kind of morning. Are you? His face turning red, almost purple at the edges. I'm allergic to cinnamon. Why you got cinnamon in your kitchen then? Oh my gosh. Throw it back up. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. Put your finger in the back of your throat. Gag reflex. He shakes his head quickly. It's fine. I just, there's Benadryl over the sink. This is. First, the cat is ruining his floors and his clean sheets. Then we almost killed the man with cinnamon. To be fair, though, did he not look at what the item was and be like, wait a minute, is this French toast? Is there cinnamon in this? He gestures a frantic hand towards the cup we're going redder by the seconds. Don't move. You rush to the cup where he's pointing at and throw it open. It only takes a few seconds of honey to come with a bottle of Benadryl. Here... You unscrew the cap and push the bottle onto his hands. He chugs it like it's juice. Thanks. Cole, why is there cinnamon in the house? If you're allergic, why is it in your cupboard? I think an old girlfriend left it there. Was she trying to kill you? Because, like, why else? Maybe. You rub his upper back until you're satisfied that he's back to normal. It's fine, it's only a mild allergy. If you say so, I usually break into hives and that's it. Um, I swear I'm not trying to kill you on purpose. That's good to know. Frustrated, you shove your hair behind your ears. 
I've really done nothing except make his life harder since I got here. Okay, well, I need to get going to open my shop. I'll make sure Connor's gonna escape my room this time. Tess, have a good practice. He opens his mouth to say more, but you rush in the room before he can. I feel so, I would be embarrassed too. I would be so embarrassed too. Your day doesn't get much better after you get to work. Halfway through your shift, you're getting the rundown from a momzilla of the bride. I know my daughter asked for daisies and I warned her it was the wrong choice. The woman named Valeria Hansen gives you a patronizing smile. But even she has to see what an awful choice it is now that you put together the sample bouquet. Oh, oh, we're going to do all this. But mom, I don't agree. Shush, Christine. The mother silences her daughter with a fierce glare before turning back to face you. It's not you, of course. I'm sure you tried, sweetie, but this is all wrong. Well... It's Cruz, it's Christine's bouquet. It's not yours. And since it's Christine's wedding, I defer to the bride. She may be the bride, but I'm the one paying for it. I'm sorry, but you simply must fix this. Mom, I want daisies. They're my favorite flower. That's fine, but not for a wedding. It's perfectly effing fine for my wedding. Valeria guessed mortification. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you can pay for this wedding yourself. Christine throws up her hands in frustration. I told you that Mason and I wanted to do that in the first place, but you insisted. You flower girl, I want my money back. Your gut twists and then drops. My profit margin is slim as it is. I can't afford that loss. I'm sorry, but that deposit is non-refundable. Do you really think you're a match for my attorneys? Mrs. Henson, you signed the agreement. Like, I don't think your attorneys would be able to dispute your signature on a contract. Like, I'm sorry, Miss Thing, but you signed the contract. It's not refundable. Bye. We'll just see about that. Valeria marches the flower shop without a single glance back at her daughter. I am sorry, that really kind of screwed you over, didn't it? Yeah, kind of. But I can't afford to pay for them myself, but maybe we could find flowers that would fit into my budget. It'd be great if I don't have to lose this commission. Okay, you know what? Um, rearrange the bouquet. I feel bad. I think we can find middle ground. Something that keeps the flowers you originally wanted that will also make your mom happy. I mean, sure, if you think that's possible. You turn the bouquet around examining it from all angles. I think we can do that if we just move. Um, The baby's breath. That's a pretty one. It still has the daisies in it. I'm going with the daisies. She went, oh, my phone keeps saying that. I'm going with the daisies. I need to find a way to both highlight and hide them. You shift and arrange them, tucking them just right. When you're finished, you spin it around for Christine to see. Wow, that's amazing. It's really different, but I still love it. Hold on, I want to send my mom a picture. Christine snaps a quick shot with her phone and a minute later grins at you. She loves it. She thinks it's an entirely different bouquet. You are seriously a genius at this. Thanks. I have a bunch of centerpieces just like this ready for your big day. Perfect. And I'll make sure we pay the full invoice. Several hours and way too much people and later you flute the open signs to close. I still can't believe that mom really tried it with us. Trying to say our the lawyers were going to come. Honey, you signed that daughter contract. But at least we made the sale at the end of the day. And the true client. She's happy. Your ride calls to an empty driveway in an empty house. I mean, according to his practice schedule, I should have a few hours alone. And I need it after the day I've had. Con, how are you out here again? You can't help but smile at the sight of your cute, your cute, well, cute is correct. Cute, cute, sweet little face. Con, why can't people be more like you? Just cute, sweet, yeah. You're right, you're one in a million. You set the bundle of daisies you can no longer use in the shop on the counter. Please don't be allergic to daisies, too. Your gaze drifts longingly toward the luxury pool in Cole's backyard. He did say I could use it whenever I wanted. Okay, I think I'll... You know what? Take Settle for a tub soak at this point. We don't need to be in his... However, we're, I know we're going to break the pool somehow. You fill up the tub in Cole's yes bathroom and slip into the warm water. That's better. Okay, so what Con's in here, you shift up right and see Con stiff to the only towel on the rack. Con, don't do anything naughty. 
what's he gonna do? Looking right at you, the kitten takes the ends of the towel and the mouth and darts to the door. Gone. Not again. With the sigh, you heave yourself out of the tub. You chase Khan to the kitchen, cursing his name. Khan, you naughty cat, bring that back. This. Oh, no. Oh, yes, I actually. Cole's standing in the kitchen, staring at you with wide and eyes. With a mortified shriek, you grab the closest thing to you, the bundles of daisies, and try to cover yourself. I thought you were a practice. I came back early. What have you been up to, Tess? Mm-hmm. 